going to do is I'm going to take the medication. We're just using saline here for this patient. And what we're going to do is I'm going to gently pull up on the pinna. Now see how I have the base of my hand resting on the patient's head. So this way, if the patient jumps or moves, I can move with them. I'm not going to risk damaging any part of their ear. Stay. Now, if I was doing this in a clinic and I didn't know the patient, I would have somebody restraining the pet just to make sure that they wouldn't turn and bite me, but I know that this patient is very good and so she's not going to react. So I have my hand resting against the base of the patient's head. I'm going to gently put in some of that medication. You can see how she's reacting a little bit. And now before I let go of her head, what I want to do is massage down that vertical ear canal. And can you hear that fluid squishing? That's essentially what you want to hear. You wanna do it gently. Some patients may be more sensitive if they have an inflamed ear canal. What that's going to do is help disperse the medication and it will also help break down the debris. Now I'm going to release my patient's head and they typically will shake their head which will help remove debris right away. So I usually will let go of the head, not my entire patient, just to get out of the way of the liquid that will come out of her ear. So I'm going to let go. You can see how she's shaking her head. And now what I'm going to do, sit. 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 Good girl. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my gauze and again, gently pull up on her pinna. And I can take my gauze, I'm just gently putting it a little bit down into the vertical ear canal, and I'm going to try and get out as much debris as possible. And then also in the area at the base of the pinna, in any of those folds. And if I'm going to get a large amount of debris coming out, you may do this one or two times until you get rid of the debris necessary.